dual review is brought to you by spiderwolf.com. Hey guys, welcome to Dual Review. We got a great week starting off with the Five Fists of Science, followed by Machinarium, and then for our focal point, Escape, the Curse of the Temple. That's right. Our anime this week is Justice League, the Flashpoint Paradox, and our movie is Misery. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, today is August the 26th, and we're taking a look at the comic Five Fists of Science. That's right, and this is an image comic created by Matt Fraction, who you may know as the Eisner Award winner for the Invincible Iron Man. Yeah, <laughs> Matt Fraction. Um, and uh, this one, this one's an interesting read. It's like 110 page, 170 page, something like that. Uh, pages 15 long. or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's not that many. Um, and it's, it's basically the story of like a steampunk type of thing. Basically, we're following... Yeah, it's it's using vague. that term really loosely. Yeah, 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 it's more like Tesla punk, and and I say Tesla punk because Tesla is one of the main characters. In fact, he's the second to greatest main character. The first one being Mark Twain. So basically, you have Mark Twain, you have uh, Nikolai Tesla, and then you have what's her name, the the Baroness Roberta. von Struder or whatever. Yeah. Strutner, you know, I forget her name. Anyways, um, basically Sutner. Sutner, Sutner. Yes, that's it. Um, and so basically, what happens is, uh. Mark Twain finds a way to quell all the war, so everyone's kind of scared of each other, war is about to happen, people are fighting, and, and in order to stop all the war, in order to bring peace to the world, uh, Mark Twain decides that he's going to use Nikola, Nikola Tesla's inventions, uh, his, his weapons, to essentially give everyone enough power to destroy the planet, this way everyone's afraid of everyone and you have peace because of it, you know, because everyone's too afraid to do anything, uh, you know, to set off the bomb, the proverbial bomb. In this case, that bomb is all of Nikola Tesla's work. Uh, there's a giant mechanoid, and then, you know, there's a lot of PR stuff, you know, uh, uh, um, that Mark Twain does. You know, he goes out there and it says, oh, science will save the day this time, and you need to buy this because this will help save the world. Um, and all the while, you have Thomas Edison and his people. You have, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Piermont, Pier, uh, whatever. J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan, thank you. J.P. Morgan and Thomas Edison and a whole bunch of other people, and they have like Carnegie. this... Yeah, Carnegie, and they have all this, uh, they have this secret cult type of thing going on behind the scenes, and I don't want to give too much away because that would pretty much give away the entire book. Um, so that's all happening, and that's pretty much the plot. You're just following what's happening there and trying to bring peace to the world. So what did you think? It's a lot of fun. I mean, yes, it, it bases, you know, on these uh, historical lives, you know, people that really made a difference. Um, uh, Sutner, I think, was, she was big into the peace world, you know, world of, of bringing peace about and then, you know, Carnegie and his steel and J.P. Morgan and his, you know, financers and big business, all that stuff. So you get kind of this interesting, fun take on kind of the conflict that could be there in between. Um, Edison, yeah, I don't know, the whole Tesla versus Edison thing. I, yeah, whatever. I, I, I guess I don't want to spoil anything. And that didn't really come up too much. No, it didn't. Yeah. And there's a lot. I mean, that's kind of the what most people know is kind of that little war. So it would have been interesting to have that a little bit yeah. more involved. But anyway, um, so yes, it has some fun stuff. Mark Twain, you can kind of see his. Uh, you can kind of see that it would fit his character maybe a little bit. I was thinking the same thing. And then you know possibly like raising the stakes so that everybody's afraid of each other to, in order to bring peace, which is kind of like you know it seems like a stupid way of getting there, but that's kind of what we have now, honestly. You know, yeah. There's not a lot of people crazy enough to threaten other countries because we know that once a button is pushed, there are going to be so many other buttons pushed. Anyway, um, it is an interesting read. The art is really great. Um, some of it is a little dry, maybe, but then I like turn the page. It's like, oh, dude, that's so cool. I love it. And yes, I love Tesla's guns and stuff. And yeah. The attitude's kind of fun. And it's kind of funny that we have two, two comics in a row that have a Yeti in it. Sasquatch and then the yeah yeah you're right interesting yeah so I guess I spoiled that but it's not really a huge thing anyway um yeah and then J P Morgan you know kind of the evils of big finance or whatever so he's kind of fun to have him as the the demonic character you know the bad guy so I I, I yeah I do enjoy it there's not a whole lot so it's just kind of this little flash in the pan little taste um I I don't know what else to say really I mean it is it's a fun read 
Again, it's only 115 pages. The art is very solid, although it's it's very dark for the most part. Uh, it's fun to see the creations. It's yeah. fun to see the little interactions. There's just not enough of it. I actually get a, a, a slight bit of like Ghostbusters feel in yeah. a way. Yeah. Okay. I guess Especially because that. the you know the larger than life monster kind of energy, whatever. Right. 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 And then you know, of course, kind of the styling of it as, as well. But and there's a there's a little bit of humor, but I don't think there's a lot of humor. No, I think I think. Um... Mark Twain is the funniest of them, and that's only he's because... He's the only funny. Yeah, yeah, and that's only because he's so serious about being indirect and, and being a showman that, you know, it just kind of, it just comes off as comical. And I, I like his little first setup. You know, he's like, like this is this all actually happened. It's all based in historical fact that might not be factual. You know, it's like, yeah. it's just kind of making it, whatever. It's it, That is very Mark Twainy. you know, that has a feeling of his, you know, uh, personality in it. So right. I appreciate that. And again, I love seeing these indie comics uh, put out by Image. I think that's great. Uh, yeah, this, there's just nothing that's really monumental about it. And of course, we had a discussion about the ending. Yeah, I, I, I'm in the camp that the ending is very, cam- I mean, uh, abrupt. It just kind of ends. Yeah, um, I, I don't and... think, I, I asked you if it had reeked of, hey, we got funding pulled, we got to wrap this up. Not really. Yeah, no, it, I mean, I guess it, to me it kind of did only because it was so abrupt, but yeah, it, well, it's, it's literally the last couple pages, not the last book. It's just the last couple pages right. that's like, doo-doo-doo. right? Yeah, and it's done, and that's it, and then it's abrupt, and it's over, and you're like, uh, that, that, I, but something is left unsaid, and it's like, well, what happens now? But yeah, but I mean, where does this fit in the lexicon of you know comics that you must read and should read? And you know, uh, I, I, in my opinion, if you come across it, you should read it because it is fun, but it's not something to go seeking for because it's it's okay. Yeah, I think steampunk is the wrong word, but it does have, you know, Tesla and right. kind of some interesting mechanics about it. So so if that sort of thing appeals to you, the artwork there is a lot of fun, but it's never capitalized, not pushed beyond. I mean, it was cool to see the, I, I don't want to ruin it, but, the, you know, the little guy and then the big guy. Right. And But it never really went beyond that. Right. So, so it's kind of like, hey, that's great. I mean, again, I guess maybe it feels like a great first couple issues, and then it's like, boy, it's really gonna, you know, get into its own now, and then there's just no more. So, great. so, um, 2006, there's probably not gonna be any more. No. Um, but it, it might be enough to inspire you for sure. I mean, if you're, if if it sounds interesting to you, it is done well. It's just not heavy in exposition or content. Yeah. And the name is kind of ambiguous too. I mean, they, I don't like the name. They, they say they say they explain the name once, but you know because there's there's essentially five people on the good side or or on on team uh, Mark Twain side, um, but you really don't know them. The, the only yeah, you only know four. Yeah, the only four people you really know is Mark Twain, um, Nikola Tesla, um, the Sutner chick, um, and then Tesla's assistant Tim, right? It was Tim. Yeah. And then there was a fifth one that they mentioned, but you never really meet. So that's the five fists of Tesla. You should have called it the four fists of Tesla. It would have been. It would have sounded just the same. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I five know. fists is better. So again, don't think there's a whole lot more we can say about it. Yeah. It's a fun read. It's a solid book. Uh, it was one of the ones that I found on um, uh, while I was looking for steampunk comics. So I found that one along with uh, uh, Iron West, um, and I was just trying to find stuff. So I found it that way. This is one of the ones, again, if you see it in the comic book shop, I'd leap through it, and if you decide to get it, then get it. But I wouldn't go searching for it. I have, yeah, it, it's, it's okay. Well, how did you feel, I guess, real quick about, I mean, it was like, you know, the early 20th century vibe, and it had some common day lingo mixed in a little bit. I mean, it had a, some delivery and some dialogue that felt contemporary. Right. Um, did that take you out of it? I didn't really bother me. No, no. Some, sometimes when it's, when it's so on with how people talk you know it's got all the colloquialisms of the past it's actually jarring because that's not how you speak so it's not fluent to you um in which case it kind of stumbles the book so the way it was in this one it's fine the lingo it, it was enough for me to take pause and be like is that they, really they what wouldn't they say be? that that's kind of funny but yeah, but yeah it, it is a fun read so yeah all right guys well i think that's it uh thanks for watching um if you have any recommendations for comics we're all yours yeah uh, please subscribe to our youtube channel and follow our great playlists game lab's been a lot of fun yes it has and please leave comments we love comments and you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com that's right t-shirts a card game art print short stories and more and if you're on facebook so are we so find us and friend us and if i'm online i will chat with you and we're both blogging you can find me fisk37.tumblr.com i'm blogging as characters releasing character sheets Little bits of the world that I've created for 10 plus years. 
Uh, take a look if you like it, share it, support me that way. And mine is nicholasbach.tumblr.com. Uh, I just pretty much have short stories and poetry, so if you're interested, check that out. All right, guys. See you next time. Oh. Don't come much. Coming up on Dual Review, it's Machinarian. Hey guys, welcome to Dual Review. We got a great week starting off with five fifths of science. <laughs> when you say great week, I feel like going, meh. <laughs> like, honestly, I don't think I like a single thing we're doing. No, that's not true. Kind of. Yeah, I mean, I like misery. We got a great week for you. Meh. Hey, you know, say we're going to review things and we watch them and then we don't always like them. Happens. Hey guys, welcome to Dual Review. We got a very decent week of Dual Review. <laughs> Man, I still say that. Hey guys, and welcome to a mediocre week of Dual Review. That's what do you want me to great, say? Great is fine. Great week of Dual Review. It's always a great week here at Dual Review.